I'm Shayla, I'm an NFL cheerleader for the Miami Dolphins, and this is how I work it. I'm gonna take you through 24 hours of my beauty and wellness routine. Our practice schedule entails 10 to 12 hours a week. We practice Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays from 6.30 to 10. And on some Saturdays on a game day, we usually arrive at 8.30 a.m. and we'll be leaving around 5 p.m. Along with being a cheerleader, I'm a full-time student. The biggest challenge of being a cheerleader would be just keeping my energy up throughout the day. But the best part about it is just being surrounded by my teammates who are such empowering, talented, intelligent women. It just lifts me up and makes me want to be a better me. Good morning, everybody. It's currently 6.30 a.m. I usually don't hit snooze or anything. I just get up, so let's start our day. I'm pretty good at just waking up from the alarm and just going. Some of the affirmations I tell myself before game day or even before regular days is I'm able, I'm willing, and I'm confident. People don't really realize how much energy it takes to go out and show our best selves and give our everything. So it's really helpful to have that affirmation in the back of your head. So after like wash my face, brush my teeth, I usually go back into my room and start getting ready, put on my skincare. So this is me in my bonnet in the morning after I wake up. <laughs> Since my mom was a Mary Kay consultant, I get products from her and I've been using that for years and years and years. We start with moisturizer, rub it in. And then I do the daytime cream, which has like SPF 30 in it. And I also put on another sunscreen on top of that because Miami. <laughs> I used to think I didn't need sunscreen. I saw that this YouTuber named Jackie Aina was like, you need sunscreen. And I was like, oh, do I? <laughs> I am that auntie. As long as there's light outside, you better be wearing the sunscreen. That's when I started putting on sunscreen and I just felt more protected. And that's it. <laughs> Guess who got their groceries delivered? Great tomatoes, kale, ice cream, vegan butter, Dave's bread, everything bagels. Since I've been plant-based for over a year now, my go-to breakfast is the Dave's bread, everything bagels. Tears. Have a ton of protein, 12 grams of protein, just to get my good amount of protein in for the morning. It's so good. I always say, oh, thank God for waking me up this morning, and then I pray over my food. Breakfast on the go, my Dave's bread, everything bagel as always. I don't say it out loud, but I think it. That's kind of like my, my meditation time to relax and just not rush for that one second. So I leave my house around 7.30. I get to my school around 7.40 something. I'm here, I made it, we're good. <laughs> I'm about to leave from my stats class. Wish me luck. I got my major in dance and I decided to get another degree. So I'm on my journey to get my BSN, which is a Bachelor in Science of Nursing. After statistics, I have anatomy. As a dance major, I had to take anatomy class. I loved anatomy. Like I loved the body. I wanted to learn every single thing. That's why I decided to become a nurse. And I also wanted to have a career where I could help other people as well. Just leaving my anatomy slash lab class, we just had our first dissection day. I was a little nervous, but I did not die. So we're doing great. <laughs> The night before a game or a practice day, I usually wash my hair and condition it in the shower. And then once I get out, I use my microfiber towel. It just soaks up all the water beautifully. I usually separate it into four sections, like so. And I start with the back section, and I separate it in half. My hair is really hard to soak in water. I use my handy dandy water bottle to completely drench the section. And obviously that's what the towel is for, to catch all the drippage. And then put the conditioner through my hair. And the goal is to completely detangle each section. They call it a custard, high defining custard. My favorite product ever. And rake it into your hair and that's how it gets the curls to stay. I need like a diffuser attachment so that my hair won't be like frizzy, that I won't mess with the curls too much. And this is the final product. The hair flips are definitely a part of like all the routines, so I just flip my head <laughs> and just act like I have the hair. I don't have it cut, I just have it pinned. So I usually lift it up and just put two pins in order for it to look like a fro hawk, because I like that look and it doesn't get in my face. Representation matters. I absolutely love rocking my natural hair on the team because I can only imagine and hope that when little girls who may feel insecure about their pretty brown skin or their natural coils that grow from out of their head see me on the field, they feel empowered as well and they feel inspired and as if they can do anything. You have so much power as a cheerleader to influence the youth and influence the community. We get to 
fill people with joy and just give them a whole bunch of positive love and feedback and cuddles and just make sure that they know they're loved and they're appreciated. I volunteer at Feeding South Florida. I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. We work together to save and repackage enough food for 11,000 meals. It just makes you feel so grateful and so blessed. One of my favorite volunteer opportunities, we got to paint a veteran's house and it was just, I don't know, it was just so emotional and I felt like we were empowering someone who did so much for our country. It just touched my heart and I got to do it with my teammates who are also my sisters. So it was definitely one that's gonna stay like with me forever. <laughs> I always cry. <laughs> Okay, just made it back to my car. I'm exhausted because I only had five hours of sleep. Because after practice, I had to finish my PowerPoint. Can't wait to take a nap. So after my first two classes, I have like a two hour break. So that's usually when I go and like walk to my car, eat my snack or lunch, whatever you'd like to call it. My water bottle, mini rice cakes, and I'm gonna eat with the cookie butter, PB&J sandwich, peaches, and a cliff bar. And either like watch YouTube videos or if I need to study for an exam, that's when I take the time to study. I have a test in theology, which is right after my break. Wish me luck. Since I'm an introvert, I need that time by myself. <laughs> to just kind of refuel. It's weird because my job is to be a cheerleader, but I'm also an introvert, so it feels like it's things that don't belong together, but it connects me to both of my sides. I set my alarm for 12.20 <laughs> and I do my makeup. It's makeup time in the car before class. My makeup usually takes 25 to 30 minutes. For game days, I'll have the privilege of just doing it in my bathroom in my house, but I have to do what I have to do because after my last class, I only have like an hour and a half until I have to leave for practice, so I have to do my makeup at that time. It's a really a dress rehearsal that you have to push, push, push. So we have to know how to sweat with makeup on without having it run down our faces. First thing I would do is put on my primer, just so that the foundation can stick more to it and looks more seamless. Allows it to last longer. This is Fenty Beauty. And then I would prime my eyes and my lips. How do I do this? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I cannot find my lip primer. I don't know where it is. For the lips, get those lips nice and smooth. And then I would start on my eyes. Start with the base color to kind of blend it all in. I used a base, it's a similar color to my skin, and then I use a darker brown in the crease to kind of create depth into the eye, and then I flare it up at the sides. There's another nursing student. They just look so cool, so smart. I wanna look cool and smart in my nursing outfit. I would just say for like game day or practice, just to make your eyes stand out so that it's not fading in or the light like makes it pale or anything. This is almost four weeks into my eyelash extensions, but still cute though. There's basically two different uniforms. It's kind of like two and a half. You're able to mix and match the different uniforms to make a whole completely different new one. So the uniforms are more for dancing and for athleticism because they're able to breathe and able to stretch as you're dancing. The practice uniforms, I love them. It just makes us look more uniform when we're all wearing the same thing and looking professional. With our boots, because like we'll be dancing on our feet for a really long time, we like to wear fuzzy big socks. My fuzzy socks, still on, because they're so comfy. Soaks up the shock when we're dancing and makes our feet feel more compressed. People don't realize the palms are heavy, especially throughout a nine hour game day. So the wrist action, it gets really sore after. So usually to practice and game day, I would put my palms inside some old tights. This may look a little weird, but this is just how I compress my palms and they take up less space in my bags. My old captain taught me that. Cute, small, tight, not a problem. A lot of people believe that cheerleaders are not intelligent. I think that we definitely break those stereotypes because our team is filled with so many intelligent people. Being a cheerleader teaches you how to be a part of a team and work with other people. We're sisters and we're all in the same situation together. We help each other through it all, so it's definitely a team sport. I was a Dolphins fan probably my whole life because my family has been Dolphin fans forever, no matter what. <laughs> Look at what my mom wore to the game today. That's me, that's me. Your yes. biggest fan. <laughs> Being able to cheer in my hometown, it makes me feel proud. I'm just adding some, a little of this orangish to just add a little spunk. I'm just put it toward the edge 
and then kind of bring it into the crease. I'm gonna be honest, I cannot see in my phone, so just take a second. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Pretty good. And then I'm done with my eyes. We're gonna move on to under eye concealer. Oh my gosh, did I put on foundation? No. <laughs> so I got too much into the conversation, but I usually do my foundation first and then I'll do my eyeshadow. So I'll just do my foundation now. Then we're gonna put on our foundation. I start off with the Fenty foundation on top of my Fenty primer. Live it up, live it up. Live in our best life. So for practice, I usually use the Fenty foundation, but for game days, I'll use the MAC foundation because it seems to last um, throughout the entire game day and it doesn't like run or change throughout the game. This foundation dries up really fast. So we gotta do section by section. Oh no. Drop something. What did I draw? Oh, making it worse. Oh no, oh no. It's gonna dry. You see what I mean? Let's try this again. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know where it is now. We're just gonna give up for now because I'm tired. As a cheerleader in Miami, you really have to stay hydrated. Once game day is coming up, I usually drink way more water than I would throughout the day. And we have this hack where we drink Pedialyte throughout the week of game day so that we can get all our electrolytes in. Oh, we're really hot. <laughs> but we all get water breaks one by one. I don't know if anybody ever notices. But we go one by one and then someone takes our place and we get water and we can dab off with a towel then. I use men's deodorant. I feel like it works better. <laughs> Like I don't sweat underneath my armpits with the men's deodorant, so I think that's definitely the way to go. I'm nervous before every single game. I'm most nervous when we're in the tunnel waiting to go out for pregame, which is the first performance that we do. I start off the line onto the field, and I just have to like breathe, take a second, and just tell myself I got this. We're gonna move on to under eye concealer. Boop -a -doo. And then I put some powder over the concealer. Dab it up. I do put powder on over my concealer and my makeup just to set it in place. So that when I sweat, it doesn't mess up or anything. Do you have to wash your uniforms within 24 hours? That's like a rule, major rule. <laughs> because after the game, it's drenched in sweat and it possibly has makeup on it, most likely. You just have to do it in a specific way. I put it inside out. And I'm going to put it in that pillowcase. And then tie it and then you have to do it on delicate. And then I hang it to dry. But they have to be washed. Okay, we're gonna do a little amateur contouring with Shayla. So I just put the contour to kind of make my cheekbones stand out. Some games the crowd is loud and other games the crowd is like not interested at all. Like if we're losing, sometimes the crowd isn't as energetic, but I think that's especially when we have to be the energy and like bring the crowd up and give them the energy that they need because we're the cheerleaders. So we have to be there for them. It's always fun for me. Then add on a little blush. Give him a smile. So for game days, I put extra blush. I know that it disappears pretty fast on me. And then the highlighter. I just love that it brings out your inner glow. <laughs> and you can turn and you can see the glow. It's like my favorite thing. We love a glowing queen. <laughs> I know people are like, this girl's crazy in her car by herself talking. I use a brown lip liner and then the red in the middle. It makes like an ombre effect. And then for class, I don't do the like va va boom red lipstick. I just do some lip gloss. Keep it nice and glossy. And then after classes, that's when I'll put on the lipstick for practice. I like the lotion that's not sticky and like doesn't make you sweat. So I like the ones that are kind of like shea butter or cocoa butter and it makes your skin really nice and smooth. On game days I wear less, but I still do. <laughs> Just to be moisturized. Because of the hot weather that's in Miami, <laughs> you have to make sure you set your makeup. I do it like multiple times throughout game day, just so I don't sweat all off. The MAC Prep and Prime is the best ever. Like whenever we're on the field and we get super hot, we just like put it more up and it fans, <laughs> it like fans our face for us. It's like a lot of motion. The halftime is a really short amount of time where you have to reapply your lipstick, make sure you dab off, and then you have to stretch for kick line cuts right after. And we're done! I'm early, so I'm gonna do a little studying because I have a test later. At one o'clock, I leave my car, and it's time for theology class. 
specifically for the Miami Dolphin cheerleaders, we have to have our nails kind of like a natural color, like a pinkish, nudish. For game days, we like to have them glam and made up. So like when we're meeting people and we're talking, we can look glamorous and put together. After that, I go to psychology class. Look in hand, we're ready, folks. Then after that, I usually go straight home so I can eat and wind down before practice. Traffic, traffic, looking for my chapstick, feeling kind of car sick. There's a Ford Maverick. That's a Malibu's Must Wanna reference for you guys. I don't know if there's anything that I would avoid, but I specifically make sure that I eat my carbs so that I can get that energy intake in and have energy stored up. This is the homemade pesto sauce that I'm making for my pasta. This is the final product, pesto pasta topped off with some great tomatoes. After I eat, I usually roll out with my tennis ball or my roller. Usually roll out my entire leg, but right now I'm just gonna roll out my IT band because it's super tight. That's it. I'm on my way to practice now. This practice is super special because we're going to be with our junior cheerleaders. We have a performance with them this upcoming Sunday in our upcoming game. And it's just always so much fun to work with the little girls who aspire to be cheerleaders. So let's get in it. I made it. I'm walking to the training camp now to see the kiddos. We do workouts before practice as a team to stay fit, keep our muscles active, stay strong. So the dancing is the cardio and we also run. The audition process is a long one, so there's like multiple stages throughout, so it's definitely nerve wracking. I was really nervous for this audition. You have to re-audition every single year. Or you don't just get accepted back in. You just have to keep working hard to be better than you were last season. Another stereotype is that we're not actually trained dancers. I love photo shoots, and especially the dance photo shoots are my favorite. We get to show how much we're actually capable of doing. We got to go to Norway and Denmark and different parts of Europe and have photo photo shoots for our annual like photo book and it was super fun. I think the sisterhood is probably the most important aspect of being on the team. Throughout practice, everybody's cheering for each other. We get to sit down and watch one half do it and we're cheering them on and hyping them up. If you don't have sisters in real life, <laughs> they're your fake sisters and they're always there for you. If you look at our Instagram posts, you can see all of us hyping each other up in the comments. After practice, I usually go straight home and get some food in my system that's really gonna like give me some energy because I probably have to stay up a little while and do some homework before I go to sleep. <laughs> I spreaded the tofu. I'll be frying them in one second. And these are the sweet potatoes. I just took it out of the oven. Now I'm going to pan fry it. Yum. This is the final product. Tofu, chicken nuggets, sweet potato, white rice, and a kale salad with a raspberry vinaigrette. But for game days, my favorite like post game day meal is like a pizza. <laughs> I made it home and my post game meal is complete. That's my favorite go-to. So like everybody knows I need to have a pizza after game day. And this is my post game dessert. Last game I did pizza and ice cream cause that was like an intense week. <laughs> so this is my nighttime skincare routine. First, moisturizer. Keep that skin nice and smooth, this night serum. And then I always put Vaseline on my lips, especially at night. And that's all. After game day, it feels like you've done so much like practice before and everything is just like come to fruition. Like you've done your part and you've done an amazing job. I'm not even controlling my body, like I just knock out. Like I'm that tired from doing so many things throughout the day that when I hit the bed, I'm knocked out. Sweet dreams and good night. I was gonna say bring it on, but I didn't wanna be like <laughs> stereotypical. I do love bring it on though. <laughs>